as you can see from the cone beam images the accessory neurovascular bundle runs through a small canal that goes parallel to the vestibular cortex of the jaw. Once binded the bundle with a soft loose suture thread that can't damage the neurovascular bundle, we can move it from the right to the left to be able to work under its emergence with this piezoelectric diamond bar and the rod the vestibular cortex that detaches the canal from the outside. Once rotted the vestibular wall of the canal, we can move the bundle from the outside and slowly assume an apical position toward the actual emergency of the foramen. Being this inferior alveolar nerve branching localized before the emergency of the mental foramen, once we reach the main foramen, the two nerve bundles will connect as you can see here. So we will have succeeded in apical repositioning this secondary mental foramen that has now been transposed into the primary one by an approximately 5 or 6 mm that we needed to be able to reconstruct the alveolar bone in the buccal direction and place our implants. You can see the secondary bundle branch above the primary one, now taken back to the level of the main mental foramen. At this stage we can proceed with our block bone graft. You can see how the graft was meant to cover the secondary mental foramen because it overlies the groove we have created with a piezoelectric device. Let's then fill the gaps left by the grafts with the proteinized bovine bone and cover everything with an absorbable membrane. In four months, we'll be able to place our prosthetically driven implants in a plenty of bone, and implants will be of suitable length, since we have no more the secondary neurovascular bundle in a coronal position.